My name is John Gus. I am the site manager at Bennett Place State Historic Site and I work for the Division of North Carolina Historic Sites and the Department of Cultural Resources. I actually studied marketing in college and uh, went into film and television for about 13 years. The site manager is in charge of an entire site uh, which entails everything from historical interpretation to operations to um, the maintenance of, of the site also to public relations and marketing of the site. Bennett Place was the site of the largest surrender of the American Civil War and we interpret that aspect of, of American history. So it entails a lot of talking about the Civil War soldiers and also the civilians that were here, the Bennett family, James and Nancy Bennett and their children who grew up here. But uh, we also go into specifics of the, uh, the generals that met here, General William Tecumseh Sherman and Joseph Eggleston Johnston, who were the two main generals who made an agreement and over 90,000 troops were surrendered here. One of the great things about what we do at our historic sites is we have the, the actual historic buildings. We've also got uh, a lot of reproductions of the costumes that were worn. We just had a living history program out here recently, our commemoration of the surrender. And we had everything from the generals being uh, recreated or portrayed to people who are portraying Civil War soldiers. We had cavalry troopers out here, so we had horses on the property. We had wagon rides, so it's a lot of fun. It's not just telling a story about a historical event. I think children are, are learning more about uh, the history of the American Civil War, especially since it's the 150th anniversary of the Civil War. And, um, and they're always curious, um, especially when we do our, our um, cooking demonstrations. They're always curious about how things were prepared, and they're amazed that that our ancestors cooked over an open hearth and they didn't use a microwave. So we do have some kids who come out here and spend a couple of hours and we actually give them the opportunity to take a hoe or a shovel and get out in the garden or pull, pull some of the weeds or even help plant or even pull some of the vegetables. We talk about daily life. It was all about survival from one day to the next. History obviously is, is what we do on a day-to-day -day basis, preserving the history, uh, the arts, Everything is, is artistic of what we do. Uh, everything from sewing to, uh, there's even an art to cleaning a weapon, if you can believe that. So, um, and then the culture, this is part of our North Carolina culture. It's also part of our, our American culture. So our friends group has been invaluable to us and to the survival of the site. And then of course, we've got daily volunteers that work with us. Uh, they do uh, tours. They also work out and do maintenance for us help out with our nature trails, and then work in our gift shop, which is our main revenue source. Most people are not familiar with Bennett Place. When they talk about the end of the American Civil War, they talk about Appomattox Courthouse and the significance of Robert E. Lee surrendering to General Grant. So we are trying to um, make people aware that this was the largest, and it was also the one that followed the one at um, Appomattox Courthouse. So it involves a lot of of public relations, um, talking to the news media. All of our sites that are related to the American Civil War have at least two signature events every year. And so we will have different themed events over the course of every year up until the time that the sesquicentennial comes to an end in 2015. And of course, we will be at the end of that, that commemoration. So we will be having a grand reenactment of the surrender here which will, uh, will be quite exciting for the city of Durham and also for North Carolina because it, it gives us an opportunity to be on the national spotlight as opposed to just uh, being a local type of event. It will get national coverage in 2015.